hustling, every day I'm 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 every day I'm every day I'm hustling. Who you suck Hi everyone and welcome to the construct. Welcome to yet another episode. Oh, I haven't done I haven't done these in a while. I'm actually really excited that I'm back. And I don't know, it gets me back to just you know the point when I started in construction and kind of just figuring things out. So I'm glad to be here and I'm glad that you're here on yet another episode with me. So today I just want to back off like contract versus project. Uh, versus tender. I think um, I've 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 picked up that a lot of people get really, a lot of beginners get really um, confused, like of, of the difference between um, between the three, and just you know, like when you're entering, when, you know, sometimes for us that have been in the industry for so long, it's so hard for us to explain things because you don't remember the time when it actually confused you. So if I were to define, if I were to define project versus tender versus contract um to myself um 10 years ago i'd be like we'd have to take it in steps so the t it's, it's first the tender which then gives birth to a contract with a certain contractor which then gives birth to a project okay so before we get into before we get into um my definition and how i would define it let's get like let's let's let leads to business uh kind of define this one first so it's an article from the leads to business website which says the difference between a tender and a project a tender, a verb, a written or formal offer to supply goods, um, to supply goods or do a job for an agreed price. And then a project, um, a piece of planned work um, or an activity that is finished over a period of time intended to achieve a particular purpose. So the nice thing, the nice thing with leads to business, it also goes down and further defines um, what capturing a tender is, what capturing a project is, and interacting um, with a tender. So I'll put a couple of these here, but obviously you can always go to the leads to business um, website to kind of keep abreast of what exactly is happening within like the construction industry they really kind of define a lot of things within construction in a really in a really clear um in a really clear way that you can kind of just get the gist of of what is really happening so you can be in the know too so if i were to kind of define this to myself in terms of what is a project what is a tender and what is a contract you know um at, at first it's 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 that it's that public entity that says uh, this is what they want to do and this is what they want to procure us a certain type of goods or services and then it goes to the next part which which is where they get into a contract with a successful bidder so people will come through and say no this is how i can do it this is how um i can this is how much i will do it for and this is what i'm basically i'm um, going to do so and then those people they kind of just pick which one based on the price and the product and obviously um if it's according to spec and then they pick that person and when they pick that person then they want to get into a contract with the person so that is called a contract so so and that's why a con we are called contractors because we are part of a certain agreement um, in order to offer goods or services. So now that we've got into that contract, um, which is an agreement between, okay, cool. So you are saying that this is what you need. This is what I've said I can I can do it for. This is how much I said I can do it for. And the other person then goes, okay, cool. M most of the time, it's not really an, an, a negotiation. You know, the, the people just, in, the, the public entity kind of just says, this is what we want. This is how we want it. And you kind of say, okay, I can do it. I can do this and I can do it for this much. So it's basically just... And that contract is basically saying, okay, cool, I agree to giving to giving you this at, at this rate for this. And obviously knowing that going into them, we also have different strategies in going into each. So for instance, the way that you'd go into a tender um, would take a certain part of your business, the admin side, you know, like getting into tenders and, and filling out those tender documents oh it's a lot bruh so you have to be really good at admin you really have to you, you really can't like your admin side and really being precise and being on time and having things in order has to really um has to be your strong point there and obviously with the contract um you don't don't just go into contracts that you don't really understand and if you can't really fulfill so in terms of just the legal and um uh, logistic parts 
of your business uh, not just in terms of vehicles yes but obviously like the logistics of uh, of the whole project or tender that you've really understood the logistics of the of the tender and you are willing and are capable of going into that contract and then obviously the third part which is the project do you have the manpower do you have the financial resources to kind of being able to take on um a project of that magnitude or whichever size of project so the project also has to match the financial capability obviously um some you know like when you level a certain what what then you can prove what what but it also goes there's a there's a whole strategy that goes into managing construction projects in order for you to see a surplus or a margin or a profit um in that uh, in that construction project because sometimes we get really lost in everything and you know like the wastage and everything that happens within a project that you are not really making money out of it. So there's a certain way that you go into projects and certain um, mechanisms that you have to put in place in order for you, after all of that work, for you to actually see a profit um, and and be able to pay your workers and be able to, you know, buy that Gucci belt and for it to spin. So um, thank you for coming on to yet another episode of the... Cons on the of so thank you for coming on to another episode of The Construct and I hope that you stay. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe and don't, for don't forget to share the good word of the built environment. My name is Apili Ganimpemba and I'll see you next time. Bye.